Okay, Nancy, I'm going to give this another shot. Um, this is a, a different setup I have than uh, what I used the other day. Um, I made revisions already based on the comments you emailed me, um, I guess, late yesterday. Um, I'm going to go through them real quick and uh, show you everything, and then uh, you can view also the renderings on the website. Uh, what I was trying to say last time was uh, I was going to put the water cooler here, but it required me to move this wall over, take too much space I felt away from the garage uh, for the water cooler. Um, it then separated this into two closets, but the closets wound up being a little small. So I put the water closet in this uh, available space here in the corner of the kitchen. Uh, the one thing I was trying to explain to you also was I don't want to have the two uh, framed cased openings uh, between the eating area and the dining room because I feel they compete. Um, and, and take away from the look of the room. Um, I've done a house in the past where we had this thickened wall with that small uh, wine rack space and it's illuminated with a light inside so it's kind of a nice accent. This here is considered a finished board opening or, or a finished sheetrock opening. So this is what I'm thinking of doing for uh, your design. I've already incorporated this finished arch um, with a similar arch like this between the two rooms um, in your design. Uh, you'll see it uh, on a couple of the renderings that I've uh, done for your house already. Uh, let me just pull them up real quick. Uh, this is the arch that I have for the room now. Um, and then I've also uh, got this as your um, image for the mudroom so you get a, a good size of how large the mudroom is going to be. So this is the door to the garage, this is the French door to the backyard, this is your coat closet as you enter, and then these are the stairs going up to the uh, bedroom above the garage. Um, let's see, this is the revised image of the um, kitchen, um, and this is the new image I have for the kitchen with the double wall oven. I was able to squeeze it in. It might be trying to get too much into the floor plan because it only leaves you with a small counter space between the uh, refrigerator and the wall oven. Um, the solution might be to just get rid of the entry to the pantry and move everything over and then the only way you'll be able to get to the pantry is uh, from a door inside the garage. That wind up, that might wind up being the only uh, true solution uh, to gain the counter space we really need for the kitchen. Uh, because here's the new wall oven, here's the bit of counter space you'll have left over, and then here's the uh, refrigerator. Um, let me just turn on some cameras so I can get a better view. So here you can see I have the double oven. Um, you normally have, try to maintain 18 or 24 inches uh, to the side of a wall oven or a stove. So that's what I've got right there. So I mean, it might just wind up that we have to get rid of this door and slide everything over to create more counter space. But that's a personal preference and a possible trade-off. Um, and then, uh, let me see, I uh, didn't make any other changes, I don't think, in the kitchen. Um, you can see the water cooler here in the corner cabinet. Uh, let me go upstairs. Now I have two possible layouts uh, for your bedroom upstairs. This is the, uh, the, this is the layout that I had on the, uh, the previous design, but you were mentioning that... Oh no, this is a, a, new, a newly revised layout. This maintains the linen closet in your hallway. Um, I expanded the wall over a little bit more uh, to rearrange um, the, the space you have in that bedroom. 11 foot 3, it's getting a little small now, uh, but it's still doable. This is a, uh, it's not no longer a walk-in closet for the, uh, the adjacent bedroom, but still it, it expands the size of the closet that you have in there now. Now, as an alternate, I have this design over here. Um, it's a design 9 bedroom option. This is the Jack and Jill bathroom. Now, this is reducing the size of the bedroom down to 9 foot 9, which I feel is getting tight 
I don't know if it's too much of a compromise to try and get this bathroom in. Uh, the bathroom itself winds up being six foot three wide because you need clearance between the doors and the uh, the shower stall. And this shower stall is going to be small. So I don't know if it's enough of a trade-off. Um, and then also pushes the closet uh, to this wall, creates this little alcove here, which I'm not crazy about. You could technically take this closet, put it back here, but um, you know you got to think about furnishing. When you put a closet here, uh, it means you can't put any furnishings on this wall. You can't put any furnishings in this area because you have access to the bathroom and the entry door. So really it means you're going to be putting a bed and a dresser up against one of these windows and then maybe a dresser on this wall. So just think about how you're going to lay out the room furniture wise. Um, and then for this bedroom you have these two small pretty shallow uh, closets uh, symmetrically placed on each side of the window. So that's uh, just a quick sketch of uh, that room. And then um, I also mentioned uh, in the typed comments that I gave you that um, I could get rid of these two linen closets, stretch this clo this uh, shower over, and then maybe we can have the walk-in doorless layout. But as it stands right now with this layout, there's really not enough space in the uh, bathroom to do that. So there's a trade-off there. Let me know which way you want to go. I can try and lay it out and, and let you see how it looks. I mean, it's basically just taking this space and it would be your walk-in area adjacent to the window to get into the uh, shower. Uh, but uh, I uh, forgot to mention also you wanted a location for a TV in the kitchen. Um, probably the best location would be above the refrigerator right here. This is uh, an Avatar TV. Um, there's really no other locations in the um, kitchen for a TV. There's no real available wall space anymore. Um, another location could be above the water cooler. However, when you've got the bar stools here at the island, you can't really see it, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to put it there. Um, and I don't like to put them above a uh, heat source such as the uh, stove top or the um, or above the uh, ovens up here so I just realized we've got these two wall ovens and I've got this area I'll take this oven out this will just be a cooktop with cabinet space underneath it um, but uh, anyway the TV set I think this is the best location because if you're sitting at the stools right here this is going to be your view of the TV. Um, you could do it recessed uh, flush panel back with a swing out arm, uh, but uh, I think that's the best location for a, uh, a TV within the um, within the kitchen. Um, and then on the exterior of the uh, house, I uh, forgot to mention upstairs, um, I switched to the three window layout. I had to move this wall over a little bit to clear this window casing. But this gives you the view of the exterior that we were uh, trying to maintain with windows and window shutters uh, to have that charm on the outside of the house. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Windows, 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 graphite, floor plan. And that's what we're looking for. So I think that's the uh, the, the appearance on the outside that we're uh, trying to get. And uh, I, I think it works. It's symmetric. So uh, let me know what you think about that also. All right. I will talk to you soon.